What's the deal with sugar and cancer? Is it safe? Is it not safe? Well, if you look online, you're going to find articles that cover both sides of the aisle. You're going to find information that will validate whatever opinion that you have about it. You'll hear from dietitians that say there's no evidence that sugar feeds cancer and you can safely eat it in moderation. Then you'll see reports from physicians that say PET scans are measured by measuring the glucose uptake in your cells to detect cancer metastases. And cancer cells have increased metabolism for sugar over normal cells. What do we really need to be paying attention to? And I may be called a muggle because I'm going to recommend that you do decrease or eliminate your sugar intake, but it's not for the reason you think. What we're missing and what everyone is missing, because I never see this, is that sugar causes inflammation. Chronic, regular sugar com consumption leads to chronic inflammation in our bodies. And this chronic inflammation leads to multiple downstream health effects from cardiovascular disease, dementia, joint pain, and cancer. So inflammation is a precursor to other health conditions. But for my clients and the people I'm working with, joint pain and muscle pain is a really big deal for them. For my clients that have been through treatment for breast cancer, they're on estrogen suppression like aromatase inhibitors or tamoxifen. It makes it more challenging for them to feel good in their bodies. And inflammation is one of the processes because estrogen is a natural pain reliever. When you take it away, if you have joints that are susceptible to inflammation, then they're going to hurt more. And if you're feeding that inflammation with sugar, then you're going to hurt more. So I always advise my clients, if they want to feel better or try to take some control of their pain, that they need to look at eliminating or significantly reducing the sugar in their diet. Listen, I'm not the judgment police. I don't care if you choose to have sugar in your life. I'm just trying to do my best to help people feel as good as they want to feel. And when my clients come to me and they're having pain, this is one of the recommendations that I make for them. Do I eat sugar? Yes, occasionally I do. But I have significantly cut back what I was eating before when I used to have a lot of joint pain. Now it's much better. No one's here to judge you. Everyone's journey is unique in their own, and you have to do what works right for you. But instead of having the debate of does sugar feed cancer, look at sugar as where more of a tool is, how am I going to feel best in my body after going through cancer treatment? Maybe cutting the sugar might help you to feel even better than before.